waves, this time a spiral curling iron that's about 3 8 in size, so it's a lot smaller. And as you see, I'm doing what I normally do, which is going around the head. I'm taking smaller sections, about half an inch, and clipping them with a double prong metal clip so the heat molds it. And I'm going all the way around the hair, and I'm taking the hair over top, and I'm curling up and under. So I've pre-sprayed it with Lotta Body Concentrated, one part Lotta Body, one part water, put it in an empty spray, spray my hair, let it dry, make sure you comb through, and then I start, I split the hair in two, and I start going around the head in these spiral sections, half an inch. And I'm just using that clip to uh, keep the hair out of the way, because I find I just get it all mixed up. So uh, you might have seen that in the other videos. So we're almost done going all the way around the head. And then I'm going to wait about, I'm, I actually should mention that I hold the curling iron for about almost 20 seconds when I curl it, just in case you have hard to hold hair, etc. So now I'm going around the head, taking them all out, taking my wide tooth comb that's coconut infused, and just combing through it. Um, not a tight little comb, and I'm not trying to wreck the curl, just keep that wave. And as you can see, it did a nice kind of spiral uh, wave to give us that vintage look. So I'm using some Ion finishing spray just to spray it, give it some more hold and I'm teasing the ends a little bit. I'm gonna go in with some really long clips and I'm going to section it. I'm just trying to find where that wave starts and ends and kinda of, um, sculpt it a little bit. And I'm gonna spray some more Ion uh, hairspray on, which is really great for before or after and it's uh, slightly humidity resistant. So as you can see, I'm just going in a diagonal pattern. And I let those sit for maybe like three, four or five minutes. Um, as I do each side and I'm just combing down some of that frizz on the top that happens and just putting an extra clip just to help tighten it and hold it down. Um, what else can I say? I'm going to put all my tools and all products that I use down below and I now have an influencer page on Amazon so you can just click that one link and everything is on there so you don't have to click each individual link if that's easier for you. So now we're just doing the other side, and as you can see, we got a really cute, uh, tighter wave with the 3 8 than we do with the 1 inch. Just a different look, same idea, same process, same tools. And I just love using this style for a day-to-day, -day. and it's actually uh, about 20 minutes to do it. It doesn't take long. And once you get your flow, you find your little ways of doing things. Once again, I'm going in and I'm just kind of sculpting that wave and putting the large size clips in, in opposite directions, and just kind of pulling out the wave. Um, and then I'm just, yeah, I'm just kind of sculpting it to keep that wave, to keep that hold. So, um, if you have questions on how I'm doing this, please feel free to comment below, say hello, or just even, um, ask questions. I read through all the comments and I'm speeding up the videos just cause it's a lot easier for people to see them. Um, so if you are missing anything, feel free to ask. I'm here to help. And I'm just trying to show you and give you ways of doing some vintage looks that you can wear every day. So once again, I put in all the clips. I'm letting that sit for a little bit, just kind of sculpting it, just helping accentuate that wave. And then once we're done, we're going to go all the way around and take all those clips out. And I use more of the Ion finishing spray to hold it in place. You can tease the ends with a teasing brush, which you'll see me do, and that helps um, give you that blanket look. And the more hairspray and the more teasing is the more of a blanket look you're gonna get. For my day to day, I actually don't do that, and I'm always worried I'm gonna wreck the ends of my hair. I just cut four inches off, so I don't wanna have to cut more off at this point. Um, I really love the length that it's at, and I did a long horseshoe. You can kinda see the diagonal pattern. And so that really helps with the vintage waves, and I love that. Um, and if you want more info on how I, I reference that pattern to my hairstylist, let me know. I have an image that I use that I gave her. And as you can see, I tease the ends there. It gives it a little volume and it just kind of pulls it together, which is kind of neat for um, your kind of vintage wave look. So now I'm going to do the other side. And I'm just using like a teasing brush and just a rat tail comb to just kind of tease that up. And once again, we're coming through it with our wide tooth comb first, spraying it and just smoothing down that top. And like hair is hair, sometimes it'll look like it's done a different pattern. It's not gonna ever be exact, but you'll get those nice kind of same diameter and width of wave, which is kind of neat. So there you go. Now for the finished look, hang on one sec. And there you go. And I'm just slowing that down so you can see it. I've teased the ends a little bit more. 
I've got a couple of flyaways, just push those out of the way, but um, I'm pretty happy the way it looked. I hope this video helped you. Please like, share, and subscribe, and all the tools. And like I said, my Amazon influencer link is down below in the info box. And if I can help you, leave a comment and I'll answer any questions. And thanks so much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope it helped you. Um, so just keep teasing and putting that together if you want it to be really tight. But for an everyday look, this is perfect. So I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much. And I'm loving my new haircut. Um, it's really, really helped with the vintage waves. So be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And more gorgeous videos coming your way. So stay tuned. Bye-bye.